Hi again. So far we've talked about the uh, HT transformer, the rectifier valve, and uh, today I want to talk about this capacitor, this moving capacitor, and this is the speaker transformer, uh, but it has a dual role, so I want to talk about that. Here's a close-up of the uh, data sheet, and it shows the uh, a speaker transformer, primary and secondary, and um, the ter it's got some additional terminals here. And uh, here you've got terminal one, two, and three. And I'm going to go through those uh, in a minute. But I just wanted to sh uh, show you this, and then show you the transformer. Here's a top view of the speaker transformer, and uh, this 1K resistor. Uh, we'll be talking about that in a minute. And here are the terminals generally as uh, you've just seen on the circuit diagram. And uh, you could be forgiven f for thinking that they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But I'll now show you the, uh, the information on the wiring diagram. And uh, this is the information given on the wiring diagram. So uh, it's got the numbers uh, down there, uh, but I've written them up above because they're not uh, very clear. And they actually go uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then this uh, sixth one, they don't actually number, but that's got the end of the 1K resistor on it. Um, so as I say, it's just something being uh, w uh, aware of because you could think, oh, that's where the resistor is, so the pin next to it may have a certain voltage on it. Uh, it doesn't follow. Uh, never assume that things are done in a logical fashion. Uh, hopefully that's given you a, uh, uh, a better view. This is a top view of uh, the smoothing capacitor that we're talking about. And it's situated next to the uh, mains transformer there and I'll show you the underside of this capacitor now and there's uh, three terminals one two three there and uh, I draw your attention to this little blister here uh, just zoom in a bit more now this doesn't mean to say that the capacitor has failed there uh, it's just indicative of uh, a capacitor of some age. It's something that happens. Say the uh, the capacitor's still working, maybe not desperately well, but uh, you heard the radio play. Um, but uh, say it, it's a sign of age, and it would make sense to change this capacitor whilst it's your choice. This is the circuit diagram in total. These are the components that we've already talked about. This is the capacitor that I've just shown you. And this is the group of components that I want to talk about next. We're now zoomed in to the selected portion of the circuit. The HTDC comes in from the rectifier valve on the right and that, that voltage has the mains frequency ripple on it so it's full wave rectified and we have uh, a positive 297 volts coming in and that voltage is applied to one of the three capacitors that's uh, mounted in that can that I showed you. Each of the three capacitors are 32 microfarads and uh, that 297 volts comes in to the right hand side of that uh, capacitor group. If we come out of that right hand side capacitor and move back to the right hand side and down the first wire you'll see we go to one of the taps on the audio transformer. The supply carries on down th through the winding of the audio transformer to the anode of the valve. But if you look at the top of the audio transformer you'll see there's an additional winding. This acts as a choke. The manufacturers realise they have a lump of iron in the radio so they've simply been able to wrap some more wire around it 
and use it as a smoothing choke to remove some of that AC ripple. So the supply comes out of the top of that winding and up to the 1K resistor and from there it's fed down into the center capacitor of that group. Again if we come out of that center capacitor go up and move to the left the supply goes through a 47K resistor and that goes down to the IF amplifier. Each of these resistors are uh, aiding the smoothing of the supply in conjunction with the relevant capacitors. Coming back to the uh, center capacitor, if we go up and then to the left we have this uh, second 1K resistor and uh, that feeds the left hand side capacitor. So again um, that resistor is helping to reduce the ripple. From the left hand side of that resistor we have uh, uh, several supplies breaking off there. One goes down to feed the screen grid of the uh, audio output valve and another supply goes down through the 22k resistor to the anode of the audio frequency amplifier valve and one goes off the page on the left hand side and that feeds the VHF section and uh, on uh, a couple of those supplies you'll see the one going to the VHF section on the left hand side of the page there's a little capacitor there that's a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor so that's just mopping up any uh, RF any radio frequency that may be coming from the VHF section won't be offering anything with regards smoothing but it uh, it is bypassing RF coming in the other direction and in a similar fashion down by the AF amplifier there's another little capacitor uh, connected to the anode looking at it logically we can see that the supply comes into a capacitor then through a filtration device to the next capacitor through another filtration device and to the next capacitor I'll redraw this in a more logical fashion that is working from left to right and uh, maybe it'll be a little clearer so this is the same circuit and uh, on the right hand side we've got HTDC coming in and that's fed into the first capacitor and from the top of that first capacitor it goes out to the audio stage it goes to the, uh, the, the, the rest of the winding in that output transformer and um, then it proceeds from the first capacitor through the choke and the 1k resistor so that's going to smooth out uh, the voltage uh, arriving at the next capacitor and that goes to uh, a sensitive part of the circuit the IF amplifier from the middle capacitor the supply is taken via a 1k resistor to the final capacitor and uh, from there it feeds off to the VHF section so there's three distinct levels of uh, smoothing that's going on and uh, the more sensitive sections uh, receive the most smoothing. In the next video I'll set up an oscilloscope and uh, take a look at the waveforms on each of those three terminals of the capacitor and let you see what that looks like. In the meantime I strongly recommend that you go and have a look at the um, channel by Rick Metwerter uh, at uh, All American 5 Radio. I'll put a link in the description of this video. I do hope that you find my videos of interest. Um, I would be interested in your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.